This video is to show you the steps that I took in order to make the template for the Deathstroke Arkham Knight bracers. I took a standard size piece of cardstock paper, folded it in half so I can get a symmetrical shape on both sides. I'm drawing the line for the top of the bracer detail, cutting it out. Now I'm drawing the lines on the piece of cardstock that is kind of the details over the overlay of the top of the bracer. This is kind of something you have to figure out on your own. Uh, just look at the reference pictures and try and match up the lines and the different shapes that he has on his bracer. Right here I just taped that piece back in because I'm going to need it for the overall shape of the bracer. I didn't realize that I needed to keep that in. Uh, drawing the lines and the details is just something you're going to have to figure out on your own. I can't really tell you how to do it. You just got to be creative and try and match up the lines that are there. Uh, ultimately it just based upon what you think looks good and how close you want to be to the reference picture you're working off of. Periodically you do want to try on uh, your template just to make sure of how well it fits on your arm. As you can see I'm cutting off a little excess that I didn't need on my bracer to get the proper shape. I'm taping on this extra piece of paper so that I can, in return, roll the bracer template around my arm, mark the lines to add a little bit to this piece of paper because the bracer template is wider than a standard sized piece of paper. I cut that piece off. Uh, now I'm going to tape it together and slide on the template just to kind of get an idea of how it's going to fit on my arm whenever I transfer it to foam. Uh, keep in mind that the paper template is just the top surface of the foam. So if you do want to keep that same fit, you're going to want to cut the template a little bit wider than what you would need it to fit properly when it's made out of paper because the foam is thicker so it's not going to fit exactly the same way. But I'm going to correct this later with the armor overlay uh, for the detail that's going to lay over the top of the bracer. Uh, right there I just cut the line out uh, for the, where I want the seam to go on the inside of my forearm and cut out another portion of the detail that I added in while it was on my arm. Now I'm going to pin it to the uh, quarter inch foam that I have. These are just foam floor mats you can buy at usually any big box store, hardware store, so on and so forth. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive. You can get better foam out there but I don't mind using these. Uh, foam armor tends to look decent made out of these. Uh, it's important here to keep your blade perpendicular to the surface that you're working on. That way it kind of keeps the edges of your foam straight. I always like to cut everything out perpendicular to the surface I'm working on and then I can bevel the edges later with a Dremel tool or a sander or so on and so forth. Right now I'm using the, uh, what heat gun I have which is it's kind of a sad little heat gun, but it does the job uh, decent for what I what I use it for. I'll eventually get a better heat gun. Now I'm going to, uh, of course, cut out the second bracer and heat it up, uh, and then try and mold it into the proper position. What you want to do is you want to heat it up, and then you want to fold it a little bit past what you're trying uh, the shape you're trying to achieve, and then hold it. And once it cools down, it will spring back a little bit, will, but it'll stay pretty close to the form you're looking for. Uh, now I'm taking a sharpie and again trying to draw the reference lines on the armor to get an idea of where the next piece of foam that I cut out is going to lay on top of the bracer because this is kind of a detail piece that juts out over the top of his uh, main body of his bracer. Now I'm taking the blue masking tape you can get it in any um, hardware store usually and I am taping on another template for the foam that's going to overlay the top of the bracer. Uh, th I like doing this this way if I'm going to make an overlay. The reason why is because I can follow the contour of the piece that I'm trying to overlay on and everything sticks together and it kind of creates one solid piece and you can get as accurate as possible when you're working with another piece of armor. Um, 
again this is something it, per personal preference depending on how close you want to be to the reference picture you're working off of Uh, here I'm actually adding a little bit of tape on the outer edges of the bracer because I want the overlay to be a little bit bigger than the main body of the bracer. Um, it's just the way that I saw the reference picture that I was working with. Now I'm just trying to refine the shape of the detail, adding a little more tape here, cutting a little bit of the tape away. You do want to be very careful when you're using your razor blade over the top of this tape to cut it off of the surface you're working on because you don't want to you know damage the foam you're going to be trying to finish and paint later because the more imperfections you put on there now is just going to magnify when you put paint on but ultimately we're all going to weather our costumes anyway so it's just kind of up to you Now I'm just cutting off the edges where I think needs to be trimmed just to kind of refine that pattern even more. And now the gap between these two points on the template at the top of the bracer, I'm taping that together and I'm going to recut it out later. This way I can keep the template to the proper shape when I take it off the bracer and transfer it to the cardstock paper. This way I keep the distances and everything correct. I can always cut that piece out later and get back to the same shape that I wanted originally. Got to add another piece of cardstock paper so that I can uh, transfer the entire template to one piece. The tape, of course, hard, holds the two parts together. And the couple pieces on the top and bottom that I needed some extra, I just found some scrap pieces and taped those on there. Now I'm drawing out the template. And then I'll cut it out and I'll have uh, an entire piece. I'm not going to take the tape off. There's no reason to. It just can stay on there. And uh, Then this template will be complete. In the next video, I'll show you how I transfer this template to uh, five millimeter uh, craft foam that I bought at Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's just a thinner piece of foam that I tend to use for uh, detail pieces on armor. On the inside pieces of these templates, I like to use a razor blade to cut them out just to keep the lines and corners as straight and meticulous as possible. Now I'm just uh, trying to push down the tape even more and kind of getting an idea of how it's going to fit on the bracer now that I have the template complete and you'll see me cut out the top piece uh, that I put in earlier. And what I'll do is actually um, draw the perimeter lines, draw a line down the center of the middle where I want it to be, and then I'll cut one side, fold it over, and match it up so that it's symmetrical on both sides. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.